Hey, what's up guys? This is John from the Reaper blog. In this video, I wanna show you a quick tip about backups. You know backups are really important. What would happen if you lost all your preferences for Reaper? Losing Reaper's preferences aren't the worst thing in the world, but it's easily avoidable. Of course, these things will be saved with your system backups. How about a portable option? You can export your configuration in the Reaper preferences under the general tab, clicking that export button, select everything and hit save. The problem with doing this is that it is manual. And that's the way that I was doing it before. I would export a configuration. Then I had an automator script to copy the configurations folder over to a Dropbox folder. Then I used Chronix to run that every night. I have a better way. Instead of doing the export configuration, I now just use automator to back up the whole Reaper folder. Now everything is saved into my Reaper backup folder, regardless of whether I export a configuration or not. If we just look at Finder, here is the current version. This is last night's version. And then if I look on the website, here's the Reaper INI file, and I have daily backups. So if I ever change anything and something gets messed up, I've got these versions going back 10 more days. So super simple to set up. In Automator, you just grab the Get Specified Finder Items, and you choose your Reaper folder. Then you're going to copy them and copy them to your Dropbox folder. Then you need a program that can schedule this. Um, you can set this up as a reminder in iCalendar. Uh, I like to use Chronix and it's just really simple. Basically, you tell it to run this program every night at the time you choose, and that's it. <laughs> There's nothing more to it. Well, that's it. I hope you found this useful. Hope you can implement this into your workflow and save yourself a lot of frustration. So thanks a lot, guys. Check out reaperblog.net for more tutorials, and I'll see you in the next video.